Hi guys, so today's soulmate reading is love, sex and magic here. So let's see what's going on. This is a general, it's not sign orientated. So just if you're drawn to this reading, hopefully you'll get a message here. So let's see what's going on in your guys' love life at the moment. I hope it's good. I hope it's good for you guys. I really do. And we have chemistry and engagement, okay? So the engagement card is if you're single, um, you're going to meet somebody and get into a relationship. If you're in a relationship, um, you know, you're going to take it to the next step, okay? That your love life is ascending, so you could get engaged, etc. And the chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction. So somebody is being attracted in for you guys. So let's see here. Trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, so trust that this person is coming here. Trust that everything happens for a reason and at the right time. Okay, guys, so trust. It's coming. Don't worry, it's coming. Oops, let's see. <laughs> What's coming? A soulmate's coming. Yes, this is your soulmate. Yes, the previous person was your soulmate. You can have more than one too. Let your friends help you. So some of you may meet this person while out with friends, um, you know, get-togethers, family gatherings, things like that, okay? Let your friends help you. Some of you may be getting set up on a blind date um, with, uh, you know, from your friends here. Your friend may know a friend sort of thing. And engagement again there so yeah somebody is definitely coming in your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment okay so let's see the sexy part of it okay with the sexual magic deck here see what's going on for you guys hopefully it's not as boring as my sex life <laughs> we'll see well if they're coming in um, Hopefully it'll show what your sex life will be like with this person. Because this seems like a new soulmate coming in. Okay. Ooh, temperance. Patience there. Waiting. <laughs> Waiting, isn't it? Um, some people may want a second chance, you know, and have a second time around. Um, with somebody they've already been with here with temperance, okay? Um... It would just be like, because you're being impatient, you know, oh, it's getting harder waiting. Let's see, two of swords, yeah, definitely with this deck, the two of swords is being open to that, you know, connection to that sexual energy, to wanting that desire in here. Like I said, you may even be like, should I do this? If it is an old person, you know, reconnecting with them. You may be like in two minds, but you also want it. So it's because, you know, maybe you're getting tired of waiting with temperance there, okay? Because temperance is about patience and um, not being too much in your emotions here. But, you know, the rivers could be flowing down there. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I know they call it like um, blue balls for guys. What is it for girls? Somebody tell me. Is it purple lips? I don't know. <laughs> so here we are. Um, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, definitely wanting to get it on here. Okay, so it could be with somebody new here, a new opportunity um, because we see a new soulmate coming in. Okay, so we see this new sexual energy being ignited here. Two people being very passionate and hot for each other. So we know the Ace of Wands is also, you know, in all the decks is about that sexual energy. But it's two people becoming very hot for each other. Wanting that connection. So sex is coming, guys. It is. Good. <laughs> Good. Eight of Swords. Okay, so Eight of Swords. Um, <laughs> I just thought something crazy. Um, but yeah, that's my Scorpio mind. I won't go there here. 
Um, it could be that you're thinking about, you know, having sex with this person quite a lot, can't get them out of your mind, sort of like a fantasy here. Um, you know, what you want to do with them when you actually get a hold of them. You're like, I'm going to tear them up. I can't get out of my mind. I can't get away from these thoughts about being with somebody, you know, about wanting somebody here to connect. Um, so, yeah, you could definitely be having um, these thoughts on your mind that you feel like, you know, I just can't get them out of my mind. I keep thinking about sex all the time. I keep thinking... You know, I want somebody, somebody um, may be in a relationship with a new person, but maybe thinking about sex with an old person here or fantasizing here. It's like you can't get these fantasies of, you know, when I get to do this to that person or you know, like that. It's like you, these thoughts over and over in your mind, you may see something flash up on the TV and it brings sex to your mind. Five of Cups there. So that definite longing for that sexual connection. Wanting. You know, somebody definitely is hot for it here. And again, with the Five of Cups, you may be focusing on a person from the past as it mirrors the Temperance card here. So definitely like... I've lost that person or I'm not with that person or there's no opportunity with that person But maybe I'd just like a one night with that person. I keep thinking about the sex we had You know, maybe even the love we had here, but With, with these being the sexual magic deck, it's definitely somebody thinking about um, Sex and the lack of it maybe with the five of cups here You know, oh, I lost a great sexual partner in that person um or i want you know definitely focus on not getting any that could be leading you to think uh, you know i want some uh, somebody from the past but it shows here with um the love that there's a new soulmate coming in Just trust the situation it's like you know um you ain't getting any but you want it keep thinking about it you welcome this energy, but you're just not getting it. <laughs> Don't blame me. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. I am not either, okay? I am not either. But it's coming. It's coming in. Mind the pun. It's coming. Let's see. You guys should see how the Scorpio readings come out when it's not just a soulmate general. Jeez. They come out hot. <laughs> I may have to look for a Scorpio to hook up with. Well, let's see. And these are the Divine Feminine Oracle cards. Let's look at the magic that's coming for you guys. The essence of all Buddhas. I have the power to make each moment sacred. Everything is, everything is material for my liberation. Well, the Buddhas, they do practice patience, don't they? You know. The Divine Mother unconditional love exists within me the presence of love is the absence of judgment so let's get one more the empress of protection I am safe and divinely protected. I am held in love at all times. Okay, as soon as we're on about sex, stay protected, guys. Stay protected. Um, you know, if you want unconditional love, know that unconditional love starts with you. It's within you, okay? The presence of love is the absence of judgment. So if this is somebody from your past, you've got to let go of all these preconceived notions and judgments that you've made. If you're willing to try again, you have to 
let go of the past and clear that energy and like have an absolute fresh start okay guys i have the power to make each moment sacred you could be using um sexual magic to attract somebody in if you're not you can try this okay guys um you can do sexual magic to heal yourself you know get yourself to that point of excitement and then focus on what needs healing within you okay so if you want to heal an arm <laughs> a broken arm or something a broken foot then you know do as i say by yourself you know get yourself to that point at that point but don't finish and then focus on um your foot okay allow the energy to come up and then focus on the foot let's say um but as well allowing you know that sexual energy within you you have to um use it so that <laughs> you don't lose it right <laughs> you have to use it um to open up your base chakra as well okay so it's not negative to masturbate or things like that it's opening up all your chakras okay so um if you are feeling this longing um for you know this sexual healing here this sexual connection um be open to it everything is within okay you have the power to make it sacred within you here you are safe and divinely protected, okay? And if you're giving somebody a second chance, make sure you use protection, right, guys? Good luck. <laughs>